Hello everyone, welcome to another session on ANT. Today we are going to see the copy task in ANT. As we already saw in the previous tutorial that uh, an ANT task, an ANT uh, build file comprises of projects at the root node and targets as its child's node. And then inside the child node uh, target there are tasks, various tasks. So copy is one of those tasks. So now let's start. Uh, if you want to refer to the copy uh, examples, there are few examples given over here and I will be picking up few examples from this. I will not be covering the entire section, but uh, I will be picking up few uh, noteworthy examples from here. So in order to uh, do ant uh, scripting in build file, I have downloaded notepad++ which gives color coding in order to simplify your code. So here I have few targets. This is uh, I have just appended the code to my earlier uh, build file and I have commented that earlier code. So I have put few targets and let's look into each of these targets uh, simultaneously. So let's start. In this session we will be covering copy, copy task. In uh, in Notepad++, you have a good option of commenting, uncommenting things and you get color coding. So that helps you a lot when you execute. So let's start with the first example. Here, I have target name as file copy. Let me uncomment this for you so that it will become easier. Okay, here it's a simple copy. My target name is file copy. The file that is getting copied is test.txt and the two file is text test1.txt. So it will copy in the same directory uh, from test.txt to test1.txt. Now let's look into the uh, home directory what we have. First let me do some cleanup. in this I have this this is my home directory and I have few files and few directories over here so what this will do is copy test.txt to test1.txt test1.txt is this file here and it has some text in it say hello okay so now let's run this first target Okay, the way to do that is first let me save this. Way to do that is just type the ant command. It will pick the build file and it has completed. Copying one file to C colon and tutorial. So it will copy the file in the same directory. So this is how it, it gets copied. So this is the file that has got copied 11.52 am. That's the time and it has hello inside it. Let me delete this and let's proceed to the next one. Okay. So we comment this one and we uncomment the next target. Okay. The way to comment a target is block comment in Notepad. So let's uncomment the second target. Okay, here what it will do is it will copy from directory copy file, it will take the test.txt file and it will copy it into test there by the name test1.txt. Let's look into how this happens. Currently our test dir directory is empty. If you want, I will show it to you. Test dir, it's empty. So let's put our cursor over here and let's type and okay so file copy is successful and we have test1.txt file over here okay that completes the second target 
so this is copying from one directory to another directory let me clear the destination directory again okay so proceeding ahead we will just uh, uncomment this file copy the third example that we have over here and it's about copying from one directory to another directory and it will copy an entire file set it will copy all the files from one directory to another directory but it will exclude all the xml files so let's see this example okay i save it and just run the and command okay, okay. it has copied three files from so it has copied all the files from uh, copy file and it did not pick this xml file okay while copying it excluded the xml file see but the only problem with this is here if you notice in this copy file i have another directory called copy2 and in that i have this bit one dot xml as well let's see uh, whether it has picked up this file in the destination directory copy2 will have two files because it it does not exclude this build one dot xml it does not go into the subdirectories in order to go into the subdirectory you have another command let me clear this destination directory again and in order to do that we have another command which is the next command that we are going to see over here let me comment this once over here okay and we will move ahead to the next one okay so let me just uncomment this and here what it is doing is it is copying from destination uh, from a copy file it is copying to destination directory and it is excluding all the xml files from the copy file directory as well as its sub directory so this time the second build.xml will not come in the destination directory let's run this and check our results before that let's verify whether our destination directory is empty it's in fact empty here we go. okay build successful and let's see it has not copied the first build file build.xml and in this there was another build.xml which this time it has not copied it has just copied the text files so it has excluded all the xml files from the main directory as well as its sub directories that is the use of this command and we will come to the last target now which is uh, exploring another concept called fail on error okay to demonstrate this i will first uncomment fail on error and you will notice the difference as i run the test okay by default fail on error is always true okay let me run it now so here you go so let's see what we have we in if you notice in uh, our target we had an echo statement now what this uh, 
oh let me see something went wrong here it was copy file test1.txt okay i think the file already existed in that and that's the reason it did not throw an error okay copy file okay here uh, test.txt copy file test1.txt to file test1.txt okay just give me a second okay guys uh, looks like it was some temporary problem with some files and i did a refresh on my destination directory and now it should work so currently my destination directory is empty now we will run without using fail on error and see what happens we we have a echo statement after our main copy statement over here so let's run it and okay it says build fail warning could not find file test1.txt to copy that is perfectly all right but what happens is it does not print the echo statement after the copy statement and sometimes we may want to continue the execution even after one failure so this is an exact scenario where we have stopped the execution when one test failed now in order to continue the execution we use another uh, another uh, keyword that is fail on error and fail on error is true uh, by default and we will make it false over here in order to continue our execution fail on error is parameter error equal to false now let's see the difference we will clear our destination directory it's already clear and we do and so it copies the file uh, sorry it it will not copy the file could not find file to copy but it does print the echo statement the statement after failed copy step which is what we have in the echo statement the statement after failed copy step so this is how you use fail on error so that's about it for uh, the copy task in ant and you are free to explore more options with copy uh, for now i have covered all the main options so that's all for copy thank you so much for watching my tutorial do subscribe to my channel and keep watching keep learning